Hey guys, Mike from the Off Grid Shopping, and today we're talking about what is the best 3 kVA inverter. Now, I'm going to answer that question, but it actually really depends on whereabouts you are in the world and what situation you're in. We're going to take the Victrons as an example here today to help you when you're looking and researching for a 3 kVA inverter, what's going to be the best size for you. Now, just a bit of a backdrop for me personally, when I did my first house off grid in the middle of Sydney, I actually used a 3 kVA inverter, I used to weld from it, I used to run air conditioners, and I also used to charge an electric motorcycle from it. So. Uh, or on the 3kV inverter in the middle of Sydney, off-grid, which is pretty cool. So you can do a lot with the 3kV inverter if you've got the knowledge and experience. And like I always say, the best money you spend when it comes to this stuff is being energy efficient and really learning and understanding what you can and can't do. Now, we'll just use these two as an example with the Victron products. The things I really look for, now this is Victron's hybrid inverter, so this is more designed to work with the grid. So if you're around the world and you've got the grid available, this is probably more likely to be compliant in your area anywhere in the world where you're at, check your local specifications. But this one's here more of an off-grid inverter. Now, if you just look at the specifications and the weights, one of the really big things I like to look at is that when you look at the weight, that this one here is a lot heavier than this one here. So this one's more designed to stand by itself and not support lean onto the grid. Um, these ones here, you can use a generator as a backup. You have an auto start generator, which these units can actually automatically start on your behalf. These can be used in an off-grid situation, but I would recommend for the extra couple of hundred bucks, I'd actually go the Multi Plus any day over the Multi Plus 2 if you're in an off-grid situation. Personally, I would only choose the Multi Plus 2 if you had to, in that situation where your grid relied on it, and you had to use this for standards compliance and things like that. If you had a choice between the two, this is a lot better unit. When it comes to technology, off-grid inverters and things like that, you can pretty much just look at the weight, and most of the time, the heavier, the better it's going to be. So something to look at when you're looking for inverters. Now, with these hybrid inverters, what really makes them a lot better than these when it comes to the grids available, they do have two contactors built into them. So for safety, they're designed for fail safe that if the grid does, say for example, the relay does fail in here, and this is going to feed energy back to the grid, it's got two relays in it, so it's got two fail safe points, where this one here is actually only got one contactor in it, actually is to be more, more accurate with what it is, it's a contactor. So if the grid does fail, or the contactor does fail in these units here, this can actually feed energy back to the grid, and if someone working on the grid the power's down, it could be dangerous for them. So that's the real difference between the two. You can actually buy an external contactor, which like I said, if I had the choice out of the two of these, I would spend the money using the Multi Plus with the external contactor over this one every day. But it all really comes down to the rules and regulations in your country. So I'd highly recommend have a look what's going to be the best inverter for your situation. It's going to be, for us personally, here in Australia where we're based, we love the Victron products, they have a really good monitoring from an installation point of view that we can remote look after the customers and things like that. We can see all that sort of stuff remotely. So if we love the Victron products because of that there. It might not be the best product for your situation, depending where about the world you are, so just check it out. Any comments or questions, we'd love to hear below. I'd love to hear what you run from a 3kVA inverter in your situation. I'd love to see who's run the biggest loads of the 3KV or the, the biggest and best things off-grid from the 3KV inverter. So thanks guys, I look forward to the conversation below.